Welcome to Morton Dock. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots' Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frame shift drive use. This Sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. of auto launch is that you can relax and enjoy the view. One of the ways that technology allows us to appreciate the good things in life. Other applicants are departing for their own evaluations, but this isn't a race. Each of the coming stages can be completed at your own pace. center of the first checkpoint. You'll notice that they change color as you fly through them. And we're off. There's no time limit, so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls.
and speed of your approach. See the blue marker beside the throttle gauge. This indicates the optimum turning speed. Approaching a particularly sharp turn, so I advise slowing down to prevent any mishaps. Ah, there we go. 
Welcome to Lightspeed. Watch the distance and speed markers on the dashboard. These are used to help you accurately disengage at your destination. Your next lesson will introduce the basics of combat. Several static and mobile targets will be provided around a decommissioned megaship. We'll also cover some situational information about weaponry and target tracking. And yes, you'll get to shoot those weapons you saw earlier. you're unfamiliar with to learn more about them. Next, you need to activate your weapons by cycling to a different fire group. You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. around large structures. Why not give them a try? Your cannon will automatically reload until the ammunition supply runs out. Meanwhile, your laser will fire until the capacitor is depleted, at which point it will need to recharge.
position your ship near the starport's access corridor first. Starports are the backbone of humanity's operations throughout inhabited space. They provide mission boards, the commodities market, a number of specialized contacts, and various ship facilities. Most pilot business is conducted via the starport services interface. I recommend familiarizing yourself with this screen when docked. Good. Ease off the throttle and hold position here. Oh, and try not to block the access corridor. We'll be using the docking computer for this landing. You can always dock manually in future, of course, but practice in a training simulation first. Whichever method you use, all ships must seek docking permission before approaching a landing pad. To request docking permission, open your external interface panel and select the Contacts tab. Then select Quello Station in the list, followed by Request Docking in the Information panel. Docking permission authorized. Docking assist has been engaged. You've been assigned Landing Pad 3. The compass will point towards your designated pad. Ships need to be within 7.5 kilometers of a starport for a docking request to be considered. Commander. 